A little while back, Shalin Ruto declared that an office of the first daughter had been established for her. And this actually caused a lot of uproar in the public circles. If you didn't see the video, here it is. I, um, before I go too far, I first wanted to convene greetings from our president of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and First Lady. They sent their greetings to the youth at the ULEAD Summit this time. I informed them I was coming, and they are both big youth champions in our country. So they said I say hi. So hi. I from the President and First Lady, thank you so much. Um, I also really wanted to thank my primary school friend, she's called Marie Kimani. She's the one who informed me about this event, she's one of our youth leaders back in Kenya. I didn't know about the ULEAD Summit until she told me about it a few weeks ago and I got very interested and that's when she connected me to Mulobi Robot. So thanks Mulobi and Mulobi connected me to Stella and that's how I came here this, um, this day and to be with you for the next few days. So before again I continue, I wanted to introduce quickly my team from Kenya. So I'll start with the back. So this is Mike Sagana, um, he's one of my team members, uh, he's a politician <laughs> and he's my principal advisor in my team. And uh, this is Jermaine Momani. He's the head of trade and investments at the office of the first daughter. So yesterday, the panel of journalists that was uh, interviewing the president tasked him to show them where the office of the first daughter is located in State House. <laughs> Just listening to what the president had to say about this. To make sure that we support them politically because the governor has, does not have so much experience in managing okay, so you need to manage that so we have to help you mr president, president i understand yeah. that we are out of time yeah okay. um i need to hand over to our lead moderator but we've uh, been here for i think over two and, and so hours yes uh, i haven't seen the office of the first daughter i don't know maybe <laughs> you'd finish that as you take us home where, where is that office situated uh, Leave my daughter Shalene alone. <laughs> no, these are kids, you know. <laughs> they, are, they are just, you know, they are just being children. Okay. You know? So you know very well, uh, James, that there is no such office. Okay. You know, this is a girl who is just being a, a girl. herself, a child. Mm -hmm. You know, she has this space with uh, her colleagues, you know. Her colleagues are pushing her. Oh, you know, maybe we could do this, maybe we could do this. But, uh, you know, she... <laughs> She's okay. You okay. know, she's just Tapping being, into the privilege. She's just being the daughter of William Ruto and sometimes <laughs> she doesn't know the divide between the president <laughs> and the father. So, you know. uh, all, right, all right, Mr. President, we have less than a So in this video, I want us to analyze the president's remarks in regards to the office of the first daughter and what they actually mean. But before we proceed, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. So first up, in my opinion, the president gave a very subtle, but at the same time, a very stern warning to members of the media. He basically told them, leave my daughter alone. And I know he said it while he was laughing, but when a head of state says such a remark, especially in Africa, you do not take it for granted. In the political circles of Kenya especially, children are a no-go zone as far as the political back and forth is concerned. When Shalin Ruto talked about the office of the first daughter, you honestly saw nobody in opposition commenting about it. Raila did not talk, Kalonzo did not talk, Opio Andai, Junet Mohamed, nobody mentioned about it. Because it is an unspoken rule amongst the political elites, you don't go after family members, especially wives and children. Even when Winnie Odinga was appointed to the East African Legislative Assembly, or uh, Kalonzo's son, no one in Kenya Konza came out to fight that and castigate the move. In fact, President William Ruto hosted all of them in State House. It's only Winnie Odinga who failed to attend for obvious reasons. There's no way she'd have attended if the father is adamant that William Ruto is an illegitimate president. So long story short, in the political circles, it is actually shunned to go after people's wives or children. And the president is actually telling the members of the media that, hey, that also applies to you. Stay away from my family. Leave my daughter alone. Leave Shalin Ruto alone. And with that said, 
I honestly doubt that we are going to see more of that issue from the mainstream media. So what we saw was the father protecting the daughter from further attacks from the media. Now secondly, the president was very clear that the office of the first daughter does not exist. I would argue that it exists, but for it to exist politically speaking, it needs to be recognized by the constitution. So she does have an office where she conducts her affairs, holds her meetings, meets uh, other dignitaries and things like that, but that office is not recognized by the constitution, neither is it recognized by the head of state, because if he recognized it, it's almost as good as, it's just a step close to being recognized by the constitution. So that is why the president decided to say, no, it does not exist. But in real sense, it's there. It's privately funded, which is a good thing, because had the president confirmed that it's there, it would mean that it is being funded by taxpayer money. And that was actually the main issue that Kenyans were complaining about. People were saying, under what circumstance do we need an office of the first daughter? And where is it recognized in the constitution? But the president has uh, cleared things. He has said that it does not exist as far as he is concerned politically, but I am sure it is there and it is privately funded. And if that is the case, I don't see any reason for an uproar. Now, here are some interesting comments from Kenyans on Twitter in regards to the office of the first daughter. Kamana Ivan said the following, the office of the first daughter doesn't exist. Sometimes Charlene cannot separate between the president and the father. That was actually a quote from the president himself. Gabu said, claiming that there's an office of the first daughter is the part of political immaturity the dad is pointing out. There are better ways to stir things up. Kaslim said, Kingpin Miguna Miguna just disappeared like the office of the first daughter. <laughs> Jelani MK aka Lee said that when rockstar James Matt asked about the state capture commission, then later asked about the office of the first daughter. Well, you've heard it from the Twitter caucus. We'd also like to hear your opinion on the same office of the first daughter. Do you think it should be established now that we know it doesn't exist? Or do you think it should never exist? Just drop your comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.